Before I go any further, have either of you prepared your own vows? Yes. No. <laughs> you wrote vows? Yeah. I don't have any. You're kind of making me look bad. It's okay. I, I, I don't have to say them. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'll come up with something mushy. You'll cry. We got this. Penny. We are made of particles that have existed since the moment the universe began. I like to think those atoms traveled 14 billion years through time and space to create us so that we could be together and make each other whole. You've got a friend in me. <laughs> you got troubles. I got them too. <laughs> there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together and we can see it through because You've got a friend in me. Is that the song from Toy Story? He loves that movie. I do. <laughs> you gonna make it? I'm okay. <laughs> Mother-in-law's a piece of work. Not now, Dad. She's got a bigger mustache than me. Here you go. Here you go? What am I, a football? Howard Joel Wallowitz, like you, this is going to be short and sweet. I love you with all my heart and soul and promise to be with you forever. Bernadette, Marianne, Rostenkowski. Until I met you, I couldn't imagine spending my life with just one person. <laughs> and now I can't imagine spending one day of it without you. By the power vested in us, by the state of California and the Klingon High Council. <laughs> we, we now pronounce you husband and wife. Leonard, standing here with you in front of our family and friends is bringing up a lot of feelings. Like what a good idea it was to elope the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but also how incredibly happy you make me. Thank you for marrying me. Penny, as a scientist, my job is to figure out why things happen, but I don't think I'll ever understand how someone like me could get to be with someone like you. You know, maybe I don't need to understand it. I just need to be grateful. I love you, Penny. <laughs> Anybody have anything snarky to say about that? <laughs> Didn't think so. Sheldon, when I was a little girl, I used to dream about my wedding, but eventually I stopped because I thought that day would never come. And then I met you. From the first moment in that coffee shop, I knew that there was something special between us. Sheldon, I don't know what the future holds, but I know that I've never been happier than I am in this moment marrying you. Well, that was unexpectedly beautiful. <laughs> Amy. I usually know exactly what to say. But in this moment, I have no words. And by the power vested in me, by even you can perform weddings.com. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. 